Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A video. We haven't done one of these since maybe the summer. It's been a while. We did a bunch in the summer when there was no news, but we've been getting little tidbits that we can talk about week by week. So, yeah, we're back to this just for today. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So we got a bunch of Supergirl questions that I've chosen from you guys that have sent them in and we got some interesting ones and you know they're all pretty much to do with this new season so let's go ahead and jump right into it. And the first question comes from Yang on YouTube and Yang asks, could Kara aka Supergirl maybe cut off her bangs? Well now that is an interesting question Yang because a while ago we made a video and we speculated about what was going on with Melissa's hair, well specifically Supergirl's hair and Kara's hair because last season there was obviously the change to the bangs I think that was a personal decision Melissa wanted to do and so now you know I think pretty much the show runners and everyone are pretty much up in the air like you know whatever Melissa wants in terms of her hair like that's fine we will just go with it so if Melissa wants bangs she's gonna have bangs if she doesn't want bangs she's not gonna have bangs however it's very interesting so we did some backtracking and the most recent photo which was very recent like a few days ago from Melissa's stunt double who probably has been doing some stunt work in the Supergirl costume you know in the scenes where Melissa won't have actually been needed for those scenes so she's been on set she's been you know around and she posted this photo on the screen right now and yeah she pretty much has the normal Supergirl hair like the original hairstyling and you know it's all wavy and curly and you know flows in the wind and stuff like that so your typical Supergirl hairstyle from seasons 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then obviously we had the change in 5 and now on season 6 it seems like we're going back to the no bangs, the normal hairstyle and so yeah she posted that photo from the set so I mean also recently we saw a photo of Melissa like maybe a few months ago she didn't have her bangs and we kind of speculated about that and it seems pretty much uh, nearly confirmed that she's probably going to go back to that old hairstyle for this season. So would you guys be excited to see that? Let me know in the comments down below. Obviously it's just like a personal thing for Melissa and I know some people aren't a big fan of that new look last season. However, I don't have a big problem with it. However, it would be very nostalgic for the first season to be like Kara and Supergirl looking like she was when she first started in the show. So that's exciting to me. Alright, so Osman on YouTube asks, do you think Monel and James Olsen will come back? So in terms of James, because this is a shorter answer, I believe he could come back, but it depends if they can get him into Vancouver, because I don't believe McCard lives there, and he hasn't got any projects on right now. He did do Mortal Kombat, but they wrapped that a while ago. So I guess there is a chance that James can come back, but in terms of Monel, this is interesting, so I wanted to bring this up to you, and I mentioned this in my video the other day, talking about the potential of Caramel's son coming back. I said I wanted to do a video, or at least, you know, part of a video talking about Chris and what might be happening with him, because, you know, we were just talking online, I was talking with a few people that I talked to in regards to, you know, updates for the shows and stuff, and we were talking, and I was like, you know, do you think that there's any doubt that Chris is going to be living in Vancouver until August and pretty much we all agreed no it's not going to happen he's going to be living there for the whole year well you know the six months however long it is until August from January and so it's pretty much confirmed that yes Huxley Melissa's child is definitely going to be in Vancouver with her considering she's in the months where she would normally be breastfeeding so 100% you know, if anyone's to go away, it would be Chris. However, in terms of how early it is after the pregnancy, and I'm pretty sure they want to stay together as a family, because, you know, this would be a long time with them separated, so I don't see any reality in that Chris wouldn't be in Vancouver until August. So, yeah, pretty sure Chris is going to be in Vancouver, and that's our little bit of detection work there. And in terms of, you know, him showing up as Monel, it definitely seems like this could have been planned already. And, you know, them talking about, you know, sorting out the contracts and everything at the start of the pandemic, they were like, you know, maybe 
oh yeah, we're definitely going to have to be stuck in Vancouver and we're not going to be able to leave and go to LA because we're going to have to quarantine every time we cross over the border. And so there was definitely some thought. And what happens if the showrunners and the writers were told this and they were like, oh, so we've got Chris Wood in Vancouver with Melissa until August when the show is going to be stopping filming. Like, maybe let's bring in Monel for a bit. So there is a possibility that Monel could be recurring this season or could be a series regular and they would have decided that by now. However, if Monel does come in, he's not going to be in the first six episodes because they've shot most of the first six episodes and Chris hasn't been in Vancouver. Chris is going to be in Vancouver from the start of January when Melissa is there. So in terms of if he comes, it won't be in the first six episodes, it would be after that. I would say it's more likely he's going to be either a guest star or he's going to have a recurring role. I think the recurring would make sense. I think there is a lot of call cool for him to come back. It depends if he wants to come back. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have to sign him off if they want him for a longer time. Because just in case that Chris gets a job in Vancouver or something, like another acting job, you know, that he is assigned to and that he has to do and, you know, Supergirl won't be able to get him. Like, if they want him for something bigger, they would have had to, you know, get into agreements already. So pretty much behind the scenes, maybe there is something set. However, maybe he's just coming for a guest spot every once in a while. That is definitely a possibility. So, yeah, that's basically it in regards to Chris's availability and, you know, what will have to happen if they want to get him. Because if they don't sign him up, they're running a risk of him actually not being available by the end of the season. And I presume they probably want him for the finale at least. They want him for the finale, surely, because he was such a big character. And so, you know, with him being around, I think they really just got to get him back. But in regards to Monel, if they actually want them to be, you know, together and he returns in the season and they want it to be sort of endgame, as everyone says, they're going to have to have a bit of time to rebuild their relationship. Because remember, they haven't been together for about two years in real time in Supergirl's world by the time if he comes back. And this is just presuming that he's coming back before the finale or something like that. So you definitely need some time to build that up. That's just in terms of logistics with the relationship. However, the possibility of them just implying that Caramel exists in the future is definitely a big thing that could happen and they go off and that's how the final season ends. And so let's move on to the next question. And this comes from Barney Rubble on YouTube who asks, is there going to be a final crisis this year that will kill off Supergirl completely? It seems like that could be one of the ways that Supergirl ends the series. So this is an interesting question and, you know, I want to bring up the final crisis idea first because it seems unlikely that anything as big as that would actually happen. Yes, there could be some sort of mini crisis contained to the Supergirl show that may end up killing her off. That's definitely a possibility. But in terms of like a final crisis, in terms of like a crossover, very very unlikely because we are not even sure if they're going to be able to do their Batwoman and Superman and Lois crossover that they said that they're going to do so maybe they switch over the shows and they give one of the final crossovers that Supergirl will ever have to be that big crossover this year and obviously that's still like I said up in the air right now but Final Crisis unlikely maybe a contained crisis for Supergirl could be the way that she gets killed off but again, I don't think it's that likely that she's going to be killed off by the end of the show. Because, you know, that is definitely one of the ways they could end it. But we're all leaning towards a more kind of hopeful ending. Because I feel like that's what Supergirl is all about. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about that? In terms of how Supergirl will end. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So, thank you all for watching. And thanks for tuning into the live stream yesterday. Remember... The live stream is going to be back on Tuesday night, 9 p.m. UK time. So don't miss out on that and anything else. And please be sure to leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe and turn on notifications and join the channel if you want to become a member and help out and support us here at the DC TV show. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
Icy Road.